Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the tropics and also on the intense heat wave that will be moving in, especially this weekend and into early next week. First, we're looking here at the tropics. We're talking the eastern Pacific Ocean here, where we have tropical storm Hillary that continues to develop across portions of the eastern Pacific Ocean. And you can see it right here, a very formidable looking storm as it approaches approaches western Mexico and more so toward the Baja of California and we have some very warm water temperatures here now this is in degrees Celsius but anywhere you see 26 degrees Celsius or higher those are Fahrenheit water temperatures well into the 80s if not into the low 90s and looking at the intensity here of Hurricane Hillary here as it continues to move a little bit more in toward that Category 3, Category 4 strength over the next 24 to 48 hours with the very warm water temperatures and low shear environment, we're going to rapidly see intensification over the next couple of days. And this is actually going to strengthen likely again to a major hurricane. So this will stay a major hurricane as it approaches portions of the Baja of California before dropping off to a hurricane and then trying tropical storm as it moves and makes landfall into Southern California. This is some rare times here that we're seeing. Yeah, tropical storm making landfall there into California, even a tropical depression up here into Western Nevada. Yeah, that doesn't happen every day. So we'll definitely be able to keep an eye on this moving forward. And let's kind of track this and see where the center of low pressure goes, where the precipitation goes over the next few days in through the weekend. This is tomorrow on Friday, August 18th. And you can see the this tightly gets wound up to a 981 millibar low here as it is getting ever closer to the Baja of California. By the time we get to Sunday, Saturday, Sunday time frame, this is going to get in toward the Baja of California. You're going to be in the right flank of the system, and that's usually where we see the most intense weather. So we'll be watching for some wave action. We'll be watching for some strong winds and also some very heavy rain and associated flooding with this as it moves into the Baja there. And yes, it does have its sights set on Southern California as it 997 millibar low on Monday, August 21st. This is early next week. Very heavy rain here for San Diego. Very heavy rain for Los Angeles here and really much of Central and Southern California. Some of this rainfall will be getting into Nevada on Monday as it moves in toward portions of the southwest U.S. And just taking a look at early estimates. Now, this is not a, a total forecast yet, but these are early estimates on what the rainfall amounts could be. Now, if the system gets stronger than expected, expect higher rainfall amounts. If the system is weaker than expected, probably expect lower rainfall amounts. But this is a general good idea, a good start here. Total rainfall accumulation now through your Tuesday time frame on August 22nd. Yeah, we're seeing at least a half a foot of rain rain down here into portions of Southern California, portions of the Los Angeles region. We could be seeing more of the one to three inch variety. Las Vegas seeing a couple inches of rain and this stretches all the way up into central Nevada here. A nice drink of water there into western portions of Arizona, southwestern Utah. So a lot of the southwest will be feeling the effects of the heavy rain at least with the system and also potentially seeing some flooding as well, especially with those rainfall amounts. So the flash flood probability of Friday into Saturday. So this is tomorrow into your Saturday time frame on the 19th. We do see more of a marginal. It's a slight risk of flash flooding with the highest concentration across southern Utah into northwestern Arizona. This starts to get a little bit more organized as it moves into southern California, southern Nevada, and southwestern Arizona with a slight risk for flash flooding Saturday into Sunday. This is August 19th into the August 20th. 20th time frame. Then it gets another step up. And as it pushes onto land even further into Monday, this is early next week, we have a moderate risk of flash flooding, especially into Southern California, but a slight risk extending all the way up towards central Nevada here. And much of the Rockies actually seeing the marginal risk of flash flooding with the hilly terrain out here. So 
We're going to need to watch all this here as it unfolds over the next few days, and I will keep you on top of it. But if you do like these detailed weather breakdowns across North America, including southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You get this information nowhere else on YouTube. And I do appreciate everybody helping out and getting all of this weather information out to more and more people. Press the thumbs up button, folks. The more thumbs up we get, the more this information gets passed along to people here on YouTube. So I do appreciate it. Let's go over the weather forecast here for the United States and southern Canada. We have a nice looking cold front that has dropped south through the Midwest and into the western Ohio Valley here today. High pressure is settling in here and this is a cooler high pressure from Canada up across the Midwest and the upper Midwest here this afternoon. So some cooler northwesterly flow as we go through today. You can expect 70s up here into the upper Midwest into the Ohio Valley. Nice breezy conditions behind the cold front there. But not too far off to the west and to the south, yes, more 100 degree temperatures plus into Texas, Oklahoma, the Rockies, the Pacific Northwest, and parts of the desert southwest. We're up to 112 there in Phoenix, 111 in Wichita Falls, 108 in Dallas, Fort Worth, and 100 into the Oklahoma City metro area this afternoon. So make sure you are staying hydrated across those areas. And this is the map here of the weather pattern this afternoon. You can see the high pressure system is centered down here into the eastern Four Corners region. Watch how that migrates and expands a little bit further to the east and north getting into the Midwest, places like Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri as we go into this weekend, Saturday into Sunday, and then really starts to take over portions of North America, including the lower 48 here. Where you see the purple here around the Omaha region, Des Moines, Kansas City to western Illinois, that is a 600 decameter high pressure system. And that is pretty rare for the Midwest. So we're going to have to watch this heat early next week, Monday into Tuesday and August 21st and 22nd as it really starts to expand east of the Rockies here. So let's walk you through. Without just showing you the temperatures, let's just show you what it's actually going to feel like outside here, especially under the shade. Now this is just in the shade folks in the sun it's going to be even hotter so the heat index on saturday the 19th yes we're back to 105 106 in dallas fort worth 101 in oklahoma city and 104 up there toward the wichita topeka region and even feeling like 103 as far north as the bismarck region as we go into saturday watch how that gets more intense and expands on sunday here we have 106 for a real field like temperature there into omaha approaching 100 in des moines there 104 in kansas city and 104 103 down there into Springfield, Missouri, matching 105 from Tulsa, down through Oklahoma City, the Lawton area, and down into the Wichita Falls region. That's on Sunday. Moving forward to Monday now. Yeah, folks, it's going to feel like 110 in the shade there in Omaha, 109 here to 107 in the Sioux Falls region, 103 in Des Moines, 112 in the Kansas City region. And it gets even worse on Tuesday as that really starts to take over with that 600 decameter high pressure system, 105 even on the lakefront there in Chicago, 102 in Milwaukee, 114 in the Cedar Rapids, Iowa City region, 109 into the Des Moines region. So you get the picture, folks. It's going to be hot as we go into early next week, and not only for the south, but even the Midwest as well. So make sure you stay hydrated outside, and if you do work outdoors, make sure to take frequent breaks in the shade, and better yet, even in an air-conditioned building, that is definitely, definitely highly recommended going through early next week. And you notice where the rainfall isn't, that's where the heat will be, and you can see the big donut hole in the middle of the country here through next Thursday. This is a week from today on August 24th, not a drop of rain across the Great Plains for the most part, through the Midwest, the upper Midwest here. There may be an active storm track setting up into southern Canada, so from Alberta, down here through Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and down into Quebec here. Likely going to see possibly even some stronger thunderstorms. You know how, as much as I do, over the top of these high pressure systems, this time of year, we can get those strong lines of storms with damaging winds, hail, and a couple tornadoes. That will be favored across southern and southeastern Canada through the short-term period. Now let's turn to the tropics here in the North Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf, because we have an interesting topic to talk about here. There's a 30% chance of a system developing, rather low chance, in the western and central Gulf of Mexico, 
over the next few days. And looking at this here from a model's per, uh, perspective, the ECMWF, the European model, is painting a very weak system, mainly just a rain system. I'm not worried about winds with this one. I know how warm the Gulf of Mexico is, but this system is not going to have a lot of residence time over the Gulf of Mexico to really strengthen. And the shear is still there, too. So we have to keep that in mind. So on Tuesday, the Houston area, Corpus Christi, Brownsville, uh, the Lake Charles, Louisiana region, New Orleans, we could start to see some rainfall there early next week on the European model. The ICON model also does a fairly good job of pinpointing this in the short and medium range period, and you do see some heavier rains in those same areas. Coastal Texas, coastal Louisiana, watch out for some heavy rain early next week. Flooding would be the main risk with this system here if it really even develops at all. The winds and anything like that is not going to be that big of an issue. Back across the tropical Atlantic and the MDR, the main development region, there's two areas of a 60% chance of development over the next seven days here and this is well across the open waters of the North Atlantic so nowhere close to land not even close to the Lesser Antilles right now and you can see very disorganized here uh, you know convection across portions of the main development region a lot of shear still ripping this apart some dry air in here as well so you don't see those real tall convective complexes out here right now but the ensemble guidance on the European model does fairly well it shows all the centers moving across portions of the North North Atlantic and really away from land we might have to watch the first system that could try to impact the northeastern uh, areas of the lesser and greater Antilles on Monday. That may not be that big of a deal. And then as we go forward into the middle of next week, yeah, just seeing a lot of fish storms out there. With the high pressure center across the northeast Atlantic, the steering current will actually take this well out to sea most likely and away from the U.S. or really any source of land. So that's some great news, especially with what we're seeing with the water temperatures and the action activity starting to build up this time of year and what i mean by activity building up this time of year here's climatology of when it gets active middle of september here that's the peak folks and we're getting ever closer every day we're getting closer here to the peak of hurricane season in the north atlantic so make sure you stay prepared even if you live across the east coast the southeast u.s the greater antilles the lesser antilles just make sure you have those hurricane preparedness plans together in case of a bigger system as we go towards the part of hurricane season. Well, if you want additional weather forecast updates here, follow me on X at HWeather420. That link is posted in the description down below the video. I do update on that platform fairly frequently. Otherwise, thank you so much for all the support, generosity here by watching my videos each and every day, folks. I do truly appreciate it. If you like today's video, make sure to press the thumbs up button down below. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. Share this with friends, family, and anybody you know to get this weather information out to as many people as possible. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday out there.